A lot of people are asking me, is Facebook dying like MySpace did? And there's a good reason they're asking that question. Because a lot of people invested a lot of time and energy into MySpace just to have it seemingly disappear. They don't want the same thing to happen to Facebook. So is it dying? Is it dying like MySpace did? Let's talk about it. All right, so let's look at the facts a little bit. The reality is there are two really big signs that say maybe Facebook is dying like MySpace. The reality is a younger generation is not being drawn into Facebook. In many ways, uh, they're almost embarrassed to admit that they're on Facebook. If they are on Facebook, we see a much older demographic spending time on Facebook. So globally, Facebook continues to grow. Uh, when it comes to an older demographic in our country, the, the engagement continues to grow. Uh, but when it comes to a younger generation, they're spending more times on platforms like Snapchat and Instagram. So yes, there is a decline in a younger generation spending time on Facebook, and that's not a great sign. The other thing is there's two key leaders uh, at Facebook that have recently left in Instagram and WhatsApp. And, and the question you know, has to be raised of, is, is there something going on at Facebook that maybe there's some flags being raised that, that maybe the future of Facebook isn't great? Now, I believe the answer to the question, is Facebook dying like MySpace, is absolutely not. I don't think Facebook is gonna die like MySpace, but it doesn't mean that it's not in trouble because we see what's happening with the government and the data and people beginning to question and maybe lack trust. But, but I think Facebook is much more stable. And there are two key reasons I believe, uh, actually three key reasons I'll, I'll say, that I believe Facebook is actually has its best days ahead of it. Uh, and, and these are just a couple of bumps in the road as Facebook continues to entrench itself as the leader in social media. The first reason that I think Facebook's best days are ahead is because their leadership is strong. And, and you know, a lot of people have a lot of opinions about Mark Zuckerberg and Sheryl Sandberg. And I, at the end of the day, I think they're great leaders. I think Mark Zuckerberg's intentions are pure. I think Sheryl Sandberg is a great leader. I think they have a great vision for the company and I think they lead it strong. They've got a tough job and they're navigating a space that nobody's ever known and nobody's ever experienced. And I think the best leaders are in place to really drive Facebook forward. So leadership drives everything. And I believe there's great leaders at the top of that organization. The second thing that Facebook has done over and over and over again is they constantly adapt and adjust. And so I've heard it said around Facebook that we're always in a constant state of beta. Uh, the, the beauty of Facebook and one of the reasons it succeeded is they're always introducing new things. And so they introduced the news feed and that people will always get upset when there's new versions of Facebook or they introduce new apps like Messenger. Or they acquired a platform like WhatsApp and now they're getting into virtual reality more and more. And so there's always changes coming. And, and while it frustrates some users, what it's really doing is keeping Facebook on the front edge. And so there are many features and many things that didn't work out, but their, their ability to constantly change and constantly adapt and adjust will continue to help lead the way moving forward. So the less comfortable they become as, as an organization, the more effective they're gonna be in continuing to stay relevant. And so because of their constant ability to adapt and adjust, I think they're gonna do great moving into the future. And the third reason that I believe Facebook is gonna continue to win in the, in the world of social media is that they look 10 years ahead while staying laser focused on today. Now, I don't know how they do it, uh, but but in spending time at the F8 conference a couple of years ago, I was able to hear things about the future of what they're doing uh, with, with artificial intelligence and augmented reality and just some incredible vision into the future. And then practically, here are some of the things that they're doing to adapt and adjust for developers today and for users today that they see the needs and they see what's happening and how people are using the platform in ways that they need to solve problems and, and how they need to create better security and how they better need to better manage data. And so they're adapting and adjusting to the, the issues of today while dreaming uh, and, and, and planning and preparing for the opportunities 10 years from today. So their ability to look ahead while staying focused on today is incredible. And so that is gonna be why they win. So I believe that the future of Facebook is bright. Uh, I believe that they, they've hit some bumps and I think they're healthy bumps. I think it's part of the maturing process for, for Facebook as a platform and as an organization. And, and I'm excited about the future of Facebook. I'm excited about their family of apps with Instagram and Messenger and all the things that they're doing with Oculus. I think Facebook's best days are ahead. So I'm extremely excited. So do I think Facebook is going to die like MySpace did? Absolutely not. Leave a comment below. Leave, let me know what you think. Let's talk about why Facebook is going to die like MySpace or not going to die. I'd love to hear what you think. 
Thanks for listening to my opinion on the topic. Thanks for watching this episode of the vlog. If you would subscribe to this channel, it would mean the world to me uh, and catch new content added weekly about social media to help you maximize social media to accomplish your goals or go watch any of my old videos. I'd love for you to watch. I had a new vlog every week right here on this channel and I just want to help you use social media better as your social media guide. Thanks for watching.